Hi everyone, hope you had a nice weekend. So our lockdown lesson number three, again, we're gonna stick with the preventing separation issues, is there's two things that I want you to do um, to add on to the two lessons that we did before. So the first one is every time you sit down for a meal now, you wanna make sure that that is the same time that you're gonna be giving your dog his meal. So you're gonna put him in his pen um, or his crate and have him at a distance away from you. So while you eat, he eats. And what you're gonna do in each session is you're going to increase the distance that he is away from you. So at the start, his crate might be um, a meter away from the table and then it might be a meter and a half, two meters, three meters, four meters, until maybe then, now don't wanna rush this, this is probably a good bit down the line, especially if your dog's already suffering with separation issues that the crate is actually at the door and then in the other room. Um, but that's all case by case, depending on what stage you're at with your dog and what signs of separation um, they're displaying at the minute. So every time you eat, make sure you kind of think about this. You might want to feed your dogs from the Kongs um, rather than a food bowl. So it's taking him longer so you can actually have your meal. Um, give him a stretch. Um, the other exercise I want you to do is some active training on it. So we don't want your dogs to associate those Kongs and those um, food stuff toys with being left alone. So with this exercise, you're going to put your dog into a down stay and you are going to try to leave the room, come back in, give them a treat, try to leave the room, come back in, give them a treat, and you're gonna build up the duration that you leave them. Now, if you haven't done this before, you may be starting this in the same room, just moving away from the dog, um, and building it up in tiny little steps or tiny little increments, so the dog understands, oh, okay, I just hang on here, and she'll be back, and I'll get something great. Um, I'll do a little video on that now um, and you will see. But as before, any questions, just pop them in the comments below um, and I will answer any queries you have. Um, have a good day. Down. Stay. So I'm just going to leave the room for a few seconds. I'm going to come back in. Good. And I'm going to feed in between his feet so he stays in that position so he doesn't have to get up. Stay. And each time I'm just going to build it up a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Good. Good boy. Stay. Good boy, well done. Um, so you get the idea there. It's just about me being out of sight. And if he holds position, it's all fine. There's nothing to worry about. I come back and I will reward you for that behavior. So try to add these in, um, these little mini training sessions in to the other exercises that you're doing. Good boy until you can get out of sight and just build up to minutes and minutes and minutes. So when you're working on seconds, it takes, you, you move up in increments really, the duration is really quite short, but then once the dog understands the game, you can start increasing it a lot quicker until you can get up to kind of 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, Oscar.